Hello there. Today I'm going to show you how to install Solid X Linux alongside Windows XP. This is known as dual booting. This allows you to have access to Windows or Linux. So the first thing you need to look at is you can see that the uh, the hard disk on this computer is around about 20 gigabytes. Obviously, your hard drive will be different to mine a different size. So the first thing we need to do is to go to the Solid XK website. And if we're searching in Google, we can see that we've got a couple of different places we can go to, but this is the, the website, okay, solidxk.com. Okay, let's make that a little larger. Okay, we can see that they do a couple of different versions. And the home edition is what we're going to be using. We're going to be using Solid X, but they do a Solid K, which is a KD, KDE desktop, or a multi-DVD, which gives you uh, XFCE and KDE. So the Solid X is the XFCE desktop, which is ideal for uh, low-resource computers, such as Windows XP. And we can see that the 32-bit uh, uses just 3.5 uh, gigabytes of hard drive space and only needs 160 megabytes of memory. The 64-bit would use roughly the same size hard drive but does need 230 megabytes of memory. So as you can see, solid XFCE uses quite uh, low amounts of system resources. So I'm just downloading the 32-bit using the direct link. Right, let's do that. Right, now I'm letting that download and I've downloaded it and I've burned it to CD or DVD or USB. Um, if you need to use USB there are links on my website for that. Okay, so I'm going to restart the computer with the DVD or USB plugged in. Windows closes down. And you'll get this uh, boot page. This is the start of a live CD image, live DVD, live USB. Okay, so the computer starts and you get this uh, desktop. So you can see that there's a, a home, a hard drive, and an install icon. If we go to the menu, we can see there's plenty of software already installed. If we go onto the uh, sections here, you can see different uh, sections of software. And if you type in into the search bar, it'll bring up um, whatever programs you need. Okay, so we're not going to use that at the moment. So all we need to do is start the installer. Double click on the installer. It asks you what country or language that you're using. For me, it's United Kingdom. Pick your uh, your time zone. Again, standard setup for me. Yours will be standard for you. Okay, keyboard, and then it asks you for your full name. You don't have to put your, your full name in, you can put a nickname in. And then it puts the same name in the username. It's asking you for a password, which you need to put in twice. Put it in again, make sure that they do match. Okay, and then I'm going to put the name of the computer. Uh, so I'm going to put solid well okay so that's going to be the name of the computer click forward and you can see this is your hard drive and that uh, your existing hard drive and you can see it's roughly 20 gigabytes okay so I'm going to edit the partitions bring this down so as you can see it's exactly the same hard drive SDA1 okay so the first thing we need to do we need to make sure that we have enough space for the XP already installed. Okay, so we can see that we're 
we've got a, a limited amount there uh, on yours of course it'll be different as I said your hard drive will be different from mine so uh, I'm going to drag down from the right hand side here uh, after clicking the uh, resize button I'm going to leave enough space so my XP will run so yours could be slightly di or will be definitely be different okay so we've got one single partition and we've got unallocated space click on new a partition and new and then we can move again and we can move this down from the right hand side towards the left and this is going to be our root partition and it's going to be roughly uh, six gigabytes we're not going to change any of these at the moment click add and then we've got two partitions we've got the windows and we've got the new partition is going to be root and we've got unallocated space again click new right click click new we're going to change this to an extended partition and that will take up the whole of the unallocated space click add now we can see that that extended partition is still left unallocated space we've still got we've got the three partitions but we've still got the unallocated space okay so click on the unallocated space and then we can change add a new partition okay this time we're going to drag it from the left to the right and we're going to make it quite small so this is going to be um, roughly the same size or slightly larger than the amount of memory that you have so you can see that we've still got unallocated space in the center here in the middle section unallocated space so again we're going to add a new partition and we're going to use all the, the remaining unallocated space click add okay so we can see we've got four partitions five included the the extended so we've got XP we've got root we've got two inside the extended and we've got uh, the home partition or what will be the home partition and then we've got another small partition that we need to change here and we're going to format it to Linux swap now you could have done that when you set the partition up but I'm just showing that you can change it okay click apply and it wants you to confirm then click apply again okay does it quite quick on on this hard drive okay no need to save click close and then X this window off XG parted off so uh, it, it hasn't made any changes there that we can see so we need to click refresh and then we can see our partitions okay so we got Windows XP we've got root we've got the extended partition and then we've got home extended partition which encompasses home and swap home and swap okay so if we click back up on the root partition we can see that it says right click on a device just assign it to root okay and then we do the same with home right click and we assign to home okay so that's our partition sorted out and we're ready to continue click forward and uh, it asks us do we want to enable Plymouth I don't use it you can if you want to okay so untick Plymouth and then it asks us where we uh, want to install grub so we're going to make sure the grub it goes to the root or not the root to the base hard drive SDA you can see the additional partitions you can put it into a partition if you want to there's no need to okay continue continue across and it asks you to confirm all your settings click install and the install continues
Okay. Once it's completed installing, just click yes. So that the installation is finished and we want to restart the system. You see this screen, press enter, remove the disk and press enter to restart. Right, so on the first boot, go down to Windows. Windows will start the boot and it will see that the disk has changed and it will bring up this screen and then it will start to boot into Windows. Okay, so move down again. You've got the grub screen, so you need to go down to Windows. And Windows XP starts. So as you can see, this is a non-destructive install. Windows stays this there, uh, ready for you to use again. And once you've rebooted again, you can go to the grub screen and it will automatically boot into Solid X. Okay. You'll see this boot screen as things start to load. And then this screen comes up and it asks for your password. Enter your password, click login or enter. And that's it.